now we will solve problems which are involving dependent and independent events now this is very simple because you need to just read and understand that's it now for example you roll an even number on a fair die a die will have six numbers you're rolling it and an even number falls that is two four six because there are only one to six possibilities in a die and then you spin a spinner numbered from one to five so over here you're using a die a cube you know and then other way, other way you're going to use a spinner there'll be an arrow and you spin this so and it lands on an odd number say it lands on three now is this having any relationship with each other so now imagine i put a odd number sorry even number over here two will this two in the die affect the number over here it doesn't this is an entirely different scenario and this is an entirely different scenario they are not at all related to each other no anything you put over here will never affect this one so that is the thing but now imagine uh, there are five students in the class there are five students in the class five and now i need i need to select two students so the probability of selecting one of the student would be one by five but now i have selected this student and i remove him out of the class now when i'm selecting a second student the number of student reduces i need for one more position i'm going to select one more student then it'll be one by four now there is a there is a relationship if i select one student that is he is gone and it reduces so these are dependent on each other they are dependent on each other whereas in this problem spinner and a fey die they're never dependent on each other they are independent so this is an independent event because they have no bearing on each other now ace is drawn from a standard deck of cards there are 52 cards in the standard deck and an ace is drawn a or number one and it is not replaced see there are 52 cards in this deck the ace is drawn and it's not kept back so there were 52 but now one is gone so it's 51 then another ace is drawn so they have again drawn an ace does the probability in the first event and the second event change absolutely because in the first event there are four aces and the answer would be 4 by 22 this is the probability in the second time to draw an ace there are only three a's because one is gone and there are 51 cards probability changes it's not the same so they, these are dependent dependent on each other so similarly you can solve these in a bag of three green four blue uh, uh, blue marbles three green are there and four blue marbles a blue marble is drawn and not replaced then a second blue marble is drawn see now you have a bag over here. oh imagine a box open box there are seven marbles in total three are green four are blue you remove one of this away because you picked it once now initially the probability would have been four by seven but now this is gone the next probability would be three by six so the probability changes there's a change in this so that's dependent on each other so these are dependent and you roll a two fair die and roll five on each now this over here there's one die there's one more die so you roll this what is the probability to get five it will be one by six because five is only one digit and there are total six possible outcomes over here there is one more die you're going to roll it again what is the probability of getting five again it's one by six there is no change in the probability whatsoever so it doesn't matter how many times you roll so it is independent this is independent whereas it dependent are the ones which change the probabilities so that is the thing now let's quickly solve this problem over here mr hans places the names of four of his students joe sophia hayden and bonita on slips of paper from these he intends to randomly select two students to represent his class at the robotics convention he draws the name of the first student sets it aside then draws the name of the second student what is the probability he draws sophia 
and then Joe. So now look over here. This is dependent because he draws the name of the first student and then sets it aside. And then he will draw another student. So he's not going to put that name back. And now they're asking, what's the probability? He draws Sophia and then Joe. What is the probability in the first instance for drawing Sophia? Uh, what is the probability for Sophia? It would be 1, 2, 3, 4 students are there and Sophia is only one person. Then what happens in the next case? Joe Joe is drawn. Yes, only Joe is drawn, only Joe. So he's one. And there are three people now. Why? Because when Sophia was there, there were total four. Now she's gone. There are only three. Joe, Hayden, and Bonita. Sophia is gone. So this is the probability. Now, what do you do with this? You multiply them because they are dependent of each other. They have asked, what is the probability first Sophia is uh, picked and then Joe is picked? So this is the probability that these both will be definitely, this both will be picked. So if you find that, if you multiply, you'll get the answer. It's 1 by 12. So that's the thing, see. It's 1 by 12 per se or 8%. That is the answer. So now over here, whenever you write in terms of formula, the probability of A and B is simple. The probability of A, you need to multiply with probability of B provided A is completed, you know. So this is a condition. This entirely is conditional probability, which is another topic altogether. But now this is the formula. Or you can just understand, analyze and solve it by yourself. Same way over here, you, you have a playing deck of cards. First, you are picking jack of spades. There is only one jack of spades in the entire set out of 52. But then it is not replaced. See, not replaced is mentioned, right? That means you're not putting the card back. So what is the next? You need second card, which is black. There are uh, 26 black cards. But jack of spades is also a black card, which is not replaced. So it won't be 26. It will be one less than that. It will be 25 by 51. Because one card was removed. Now, multiply this, you will get the answer. This is the answer. That's 1% chance that first card is a black of spades. And then second card will be another, again a black. So there's 1% chance it will be the same order. Similarly, you can solve this as well. Over here, they have asked, the table shows the color and the number of juices available for a inch, in, intramural volleyball tournament. If each jersey is given away randomly, what is the probability that the first and the second jersey given away are both red? So now what it says is, over here you can see uh, that there's a tournament and they're giving away uh, jerseys randomly. There are so many, a number of jerseys. So first, the jersey which will be given is red. So now you're giving away, you're handing out the jersey. So you're not going to get it back. Okay. So you, there's a probability that out of 25, oh, sorry, out of the total, 25 are red jerseys. So divided by the total number. So total number would be 20, 40, 50, 60, 70. It'll be, it's uh, 70, yes. So 70 total jerseys are there. So now, this is the probability of the first jersey would be red. It's simple. But now the next probability also is again for red. But already a red is gone. So you don't have 25. It's only 24. And you don't have 70. It's only 69. So this would be the answer. So multiply these both. You'll get the answer. So it'll be first instance. It'll be 25 by 70. Next would be 24 by 69. Multiply it. And that's it. Do try to solve the problems by yourself. Check it out. If you get any doubts, some problems which you cannot solve in probability, you can put it in the comment. I will try to answer as soon as possible.